Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Hanks with the Center for Autism Services and Transition here at the Ohio State Wexner Medical Center. The following is an educational video for patients with autism to help you learn the steps involved in an EKG. Please view this video as many times as you would like and we hope it will assist you in gaining confidence with your healthcare. Feel free to share this video with others and with your doctor at your next visit. Visit our website for tip sheets and more information. Hi Max, my name's Lori and we're going to do an EKG today. Today, the doctor has ordered an electrocardiography, or an EKG. An EKG is the process of recording the electrical activity of your heart over a period of time using electrodes placed on your skin. This is a simple test and will not hurt. During the test, you will lie on the exam table and relax. The medical assistant does all the work. If you have any questions or would like a family member or friend to be in the room with you, just ask. And remember, you can take a break as needed. Just tell the nurse. The EKG machine needs to collect information for the doctor. To do this, you will need to lie still as much as possible. You can count or use a timer if that helps. Remember, the goal for an EKG is to hold still for 30 seconds. The machine will record the information and print a piece of paper called a reading for the doctor to look at to make sure your heart is healthy. There are many wires that are used during the procedure, and some of these may be laid on your chest. They are not heavy. During the EKG, you get to wear a gown. You will need to take off your shirt, and girls will need to remove bras as well. The gown needs to be open in the front. If this feels uncomfortable, you can ask the nurse to keep your chest covered up as much as possible. Before you come to the appointment, remember don't wear watches, bracelets, or other jewelry. Metal will cause interference with the machine, so please remove these items if you do have them on. To start the process, the nurse will clean specific areas on your skin with an alcohol wipe. Then, she will use a piece of gauze to dry the area. The wires for the EKG need to be attached to your body, so you will have stickers placed in each area that was cleaned. Next, the nurse will begin to place the stickers on your arms, legs, and chest. She will use her fingers to measure where each sticker should go on your chest. She will place six stickers on your chest. Once the stickers are in place, she will begin to attach the wires to the stickers. This will not hurt. She will lay the group of wires on your belly and begin to attach them to the stickers. The wires are designed to clip onto the stickers. Remember, you can ask to take a break at any time. Once all the wires are attached to the stickers, the nurse will turn on the machine. Remember, the goal is to hold still for 30 seconds so the machine can do its job and record information for the doctor. She will share the reading with the doctor. The doctor will let you know how you did. Once you are finished, the nurse will begin to remove the stickers. You can also help remove the stickers if you want. You can take them off slowly or fast, your choice. For more EKG tips and information, make sure you visit the website.